But as you can see, today is April the 5th, 2015, at 11.39. And my daily push-ups today. My daily push-ups, I'm due early today. Um, just for the heck of it. <laughs> so I get them out of the way. I gotta start doing these push-ups uh, three times a day instead of just once. But it's only been, what, it's been, um, well, today's the fifth, so I started on the first, so then this will be the fifth day. And I haven't I even done push-ups in a uh, decade or more, ten, over ten years. So I'm kind of pushing myself. Uh, I, was, I was born uh, 6 19, 1958 and um, I was watching some Jake, some of Jake videos on uh, Kung Fu. I, I was kind of into Kung Fu. Uh, for two years, and uh, Kung Fu Karate, and my style will entail the uh, praying mantis, praying mantis style, which is, is like that, with the knees bent, and uh, it's a praying mantis style, it's a closed style, and my, 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 my uh, style of karate is uh, Okinawan, Weichiru Karate, and um, uh, it, it was Kung Fu Karate, and uh, Kung Fu was uh, animal movements incorporated in, in people movements for uh, self-defense. And uh, I was watching some Jake, some Jake videos. That guy's 190 pounds. Wow, man, I was surprised when he said that. He doesn't look it. He, he's pretty toned. Jake's pretty toned. Um, and, he, and he's uh, 35 years old. Jake's... I guess 35, he's got a nice house, man. Some couple couple nice dogs, black lab. Um, a little string going through his yard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, so this one is after I watched Jake. Jake, Jake the Kung Fu guy. But uh, I forget his last name. Uh, but my, mine's in, uh, known as a weaponless style. Uh, although they did have nunchucks and uh, uh, I think they had some other stuff too, like the size. The si yeah, the size. That's the thing. It looks like a pitchfork with a uh, with a um, the middle one extended. Um, they had the size, the the uh, what do you call it? The, the nunchucks uh, and some other things. I think the sword. But my style is known as the weapon style. Uh, there is no need for weapons. But, uh, and the clothes style, known as the clothes style, with, uh, meaning that you don't have a lot of open stance, like the bow stance, um, all the time. Because one big problem with bow stance is that your front foot, this, this, foot, this foot can be swept like this. And, then, then it's kind of, kind of on the ground. <laughs> but um, here's my push-up for today. Jeez, I was able to do 340. Okay. A little over a decade ago. In my 40s. I gotta be able to do my... I gotta be able to do my age. My age will be 57 this June. 6, 19, 1958. I'll be uh, 57. So my kind of goal is to do 57 good push-ups. These right here, <laughs> these are not good push-ups. You gotta have strong arms to do good push-ups. And I ain't done it in over a decade. As you can see, I'm out of breath. Out of breath. Um, push-ups become uh, push-ups become uh, 
respiratory. That's when you know you're doing, when you start doing good. It's a lot of respiratory after, after a couple hundred. And uh, Mike Tyson is known for the one main boxer that did thousands a day. And you saw his record. He wasn't <laughs> biting people's ear. <laughs> but uh, he got pissed off. He came from, he came from nothing. Uh, <laughs> I admire him. Uh, not the biting part, but he came from nothing. Even though he's known for cheating and boxing, uh, he came in, when he came in like this, it was so quick people didn't see it. You have to see it on tape. But he came in like this and all the way through in an elbow. That's why you see sometimes in a video the boxer's head going back twice. It's not just once, going back twice. Because boom, and then boom. It was quick, it's so quick, people didn't see him cheating. So he was hitting, hitting with a solid elbow. And, and that's it, going boxing. That's why you wear boxing gloves. Plus, wrapping your hands. When you wrap your hands, it protects your hands. The bones in it protects your bones and your hands from separating and breaking. So when you got it wrapped tight, properly wrapped, then it's almost impossible for your uh, your hand to break. Um, and then the boxing glove is like a uh, little cushion, but it's, that little cushion, man, you get a lot of little cushions and you'd be knocked out on the floor. I just see him boxing. But, um, yeah, and the power behind them punches and a pro boxer, that they're, they're, of course, real strong. But I hope to be doing 57 good push-ups by June 19th of this year, 2015, because I'll be 57. And you should always be able to do your, your uh, years, your, um, your age in push-ups. So if you're 100 years old, you should be able to do 100 push-ups. I mean, that should not be a problem. And like Jake says, he wants to be doing Kung Fu and exercising and yoga. He wants to be doing the same when he's, you know, 120 years old. And I can understand it. Why, why not? I mean, if you got the proper diet, you got the proper exercise, there's no reason why you can't do what you can do now uh, when he's, uh, what, what he can do now when he's 35, if he's 135. Uh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be uh, that much of a difference by the time he's 135 if he keeps his exercise up and his, and his um, diet up. <laughs> That's my spiel for today on Easter, uh, 4 or 5, 2015. And hope, to, hope you come see my next video. And I'll be working on towards doing handstand push-ups.